For one Paulding County family, every day is a celebration. Thanks to the work of one nonprofit and the unyielding spirit of a feisty four year old. In four year old Matthew Hart's eyes, things just aren't bigger, they're better. He loves trains, he loves his brother and sister. He loves life. He loves everything about life, and he is just so brave. And he's had to be. It was nearly two years ago when his parents started noticing some developmental delays, and he was not able to eat solid food. Every specialist we went to just kept telling us, this is just Matthew. It's his timeline. Every kid has their own timeline. You know, just keep loving, loving him and encouraging him, and everything is fine. Matthew's diagnosis came before the family moved to Georgia. The doctors came in, put, set some chairs up, and we knew there was a serious conversation coming. And so they kind of drew a picture of Matthew's head on a little post-it note and said, this is where the tumor is. Matthew's tumor then tripled in size, leaving him only six months to live. So that was difficult for us to hear, obviously. And our neurologist uh, said, you know, I think we should start looking into palliative care. And we looked at each other and said, what's palliative care? And he said, well, it's kind of like hospice, but it's, it's hospice for, for pediatric patients. Lanice Shortle is a nurse from Visiting Nurse Health System. The nonprofit organization provides pediatric hospice care so kids like Matthew can have time to be kids. Pediatric hospice uh, essentially allows its family-centered care. Uh, we care for children that have life-limiting illnesses in their home where they feel the safest and the most secure and where they're around family. They've taught me how to make Matthew happy and comfortable and um, successful at home and they've they've taught me how to help him thrive um, and it, they're not just about comfort they're they're also about making helping that kid have just an awesome life and and helping him live it 